So today we're going to be talking about sunscreen and SPF and I can't wait to dive into this video because a lot of pain went into it. You do not want to end up like this. That really hurts. And thankfully it turned tan, but we are going to dive into SPF, sunscreen, how to apply it, how not to apply it, what body parts you're not supposed to miss, and post sun scare. Sun care? Okay. So in case you're interested, then keep on watching. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Cat's Eye Beauty. And if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. I'm over 50 years old and I love testing out makeup and skincare products, everything from drugstore to high end and everything in between. And today it's all about sunscreen, baby. Oh my gosh. You don't want to do this. <laughs> And today we're going to be talking about some sunscreens for the face and for the body, what worked for me and what didn't work for me. We're also going to talk about after sun care. I mean, yes, I was very fortunate to go to the beach last week from a little help from my friend Lisa from Lisa Monique Beauty. It was a fantastic trip. I was very blessed to go down there and spend some time with her, with my family. And well, I learned a lot about SPF and I thought I knew everything about SPF, but apparently I don't. And I don't want you to make the same mistakes that I did. So I can't wait to share what products worked, what products didn't work, and some really important tips and tricks that you're gonna need so you don't wind up like that. Let's start out with some of the sunscreen products that I absolutely loved and also a sunscreen for my daughter. Now, the first product I wanna talk about is the Botanical Sunscreen SPF 50 from Australian gold. You guys, I picked this up at TJ Maxx for like $3.50. And I actually went down to Florida with three bottles of sunscreen and bought an additional three more bottles of just different types of sunscreen because I really wanted to test out what worked. This one is a mineral lotion that's non-greasy and it's antioxidant rich. And of course it's UVA, UVB protection. Hang on, I need a smart moment. This was the one that I always reached for. It is hypoallergenic, it's paraben free, phthalate free, reef friendly, and the active ingredients are titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. This is a very thick formula and I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Heck, I need sunscreen today anyway. The one, the thing about this sunscreen, you really have to massage it into your skin. Like seriously, I was not massaging it well enough into my skin. Now. As you can see, it has a super white cast. Obviously, you're gonna have to rub it in to absorb into your skin. It has a really nice scent, and supposedly it's supposed to dry down powdery, which it did. I put on so much sunscreen on my shoulder blades and this area here, it was on my body after two showers. I am not kidding. It stayed on while I was in the water. It stayed on while I was in the pool and I just got sand on my face. Ugh. Now you do have to reapply, we all know that rule, you have to reapply after two hours. On here it says reapply after 80 minutes. You wanna apply liberally 15 minutes before sun exposure, and you reapply after 80 minutes of swimming or sweating, and immediately after towel drying, at least every two hours. Ooh, yeah, did I do that? Probably not. And I asked my husband to put it on my back you know, the whole, uh, you scratch my back, I'll scratch your back. When I put, when I was applying the sunscreen to my husband's back, I was doing it wrong. I was not getting the back parts, the underneath of the arms through here and the lower small of the back as well. Mm, yeah, you definitely wanna get that part of your body. The tops of your feet. My husband's feet got so burned on the first day. I think he got sun poisoning. I am not kidding. His feet swelled up like a balloon and they were bright pink. So don't miss the tops of your feet, especially when you're in the sand and you're in the water. There's something about the sun intensity, especially if you go further south. We're in Tennessee and we traveled down to Florida and the sun is so much more intense down there. And I thought I could handle it. Apparently I couldn't, but yes, this one I actually really like. I feel like it offered me the most protection. And even though it had that white cast that was kind of difficult to remove after showering, I felt protected. The cool thing about Australian Gold is I picked up one for my daughter and this is the SPF 50 Botanical Sunscreen for kids. This is almost out. This is also a mineral lotion, hypoallergenic, pediatrician tested UVA, UVB protection. I slathered this all over my daughter. She's 11 years old. She is a fish out of water. She stayed in the water 
literally four to five hours at a time. This one to me seemed a little bit thicker and pastier. Do I have anything left? Okay, cool, I got it, yay. I wish it had a better, it'd be great if it had like a pump or a flip top where you could just flip it off and flip it back on because yeah, I kept dropping this in the sand and it gets all grainy and sandy, yeah. But that's my one complaint about that. But here is the children's formula and I'm gonna show you how white and casty this is. But to me, I feel like that is more protective, especially on young children's skin. And this, oh, this smells so good too. It smells kind of like baby powder, but it's supposed to dry down like powdery but look at the white cast. Who cares if you have a white cast? I really did not care because the sun was so intense in Florida. I did, I wanted to do anything possible to protect my skin because we all know the sun will age your skin. I kind of don't want to have like leathery skin when I get much older, you know what I mean? Absorbed in my skin quicker. Wow, I did not know that. Ava loved it. I applied it all over her body. She got a beautiful even tan and I also applied it to her face. She got super sunburned on her face. Oh my gosh, bless her heart. I would put pictures, but I don't want you to come after me in the comments going, mother of the year, you suck. I highly recommend the Australian Gold. Like I said, I picked both of these up at Target for like $3.50. I think you can also order these off of Amazon, but this actually worked really well for me. Now, one that I actually loved in consistency and scent is also an SPF of 50. It is the Ocean Potion Sunscreen Lotion. Oh, I, I rhymed, that's cute. This also is a broad spectrum SPF 50, a UVA, UVB protection. Of course, it's water resistant after 80 minutes. It's oxybenzone free, reef friendly, no added parabens, gluten with seed plants and antioxidants. Non-greasy, it's sheer, it's enriched with vitamins B, C and E, deep sea minerals and seaweed and algae extracts. Okay, I really like this one, but I felt like it didn't offer as much protection even though this and this are both 50. Okay, this one goes on a little bit smoother. Oh, and it smells so good. Now see, now this is the kind of flip top that I want on the Australian Gold. Super convenient, boom, easy peasy. But yeah, let me show you what it looks like. But it just, to me, glides on easier and it doesn't have as much as a white cast as the Australian Gold, but it smells delicious. Felt like, like I said, it didn't offer as much protection. This was like, second standby for sure. Same directions apply 15 minutes before sun exposure. I pretty much, after I took a shower in the mornings, I would just go ahead and apply sunscreen. I mean, why would you put on an additional lotion? Might as well just load up on sunscreen. And even if we weren't going to the beach, I just put sunscreen on every single day that I was there because it, even if you're walking around, I remember we walked around on the boardwalk and the sun was super intense that day. And even though I wore a baseball cap, sunglasses, I still got massive sun on my face as well as on my chest, just walking around. Just be leery of that. For the face, there's a plethora of sunscreens that I wanna share with you. We got for Ava the Neutrogena Sheer Zinc Kids Mineral Sunscreen SPF 50. Now this is tear-free and it's free of fragrance, parabens and dyes. Of course, it's water resistant, 80 minutes. Blah, blah, blah. This is the number one dermatologist recommended brand. Neutrogena, we all know Neutrogena. Now the active ingredient is this, is zinc oxide, 21.9%. We needed something that was super strong on her face, but her face definitely got burned, especially the top of her nose and her cheeks. And then we decided to go ahead, apply this to her face. We did take a couple of days off and stayed indoors, but literally, this saved her face. We also tried the Sun Bum Face 70. This is also UVA, UVB broad spectrum. 70? Okay, so you know I love my Super Goop Glow Screen. I swear by this, it's an SPF 40. But down in Florida, I just, I just felt like it wasn't enough. I would apply the Sun Bum Face 70 on top of the Super Goop. I wore my baseball cap and my sunglasses and I sat under an umbrella, like probably 75% of the time when I was on the beach. I also ordered a cover up for wearing on the beach as well. I ordered it off of Amazon. I'll insert a picture of what it looks like here. 
I think I paid like $25 for it, but it made such a difference. It was soft, flowy, and white, and I felt like it reflected the light off of my body. So I felt like when I wore that cover up, I could stay out in the sunshine a little bit longer. But of course, under an umbrella, for sure. It's super comfortable, super light and airy. Of course, the first day I wore it, I spilled tacos, I spilled salsa all over it, but you can wash it, dry it, it's beautiful, and it held up beautifully. But I wore that cover up every single day just to protect my body and not get extra sun. And I would take it off only when I would go into the water, but love that cover up, super help covering up, especially when I was in the sun for too long. Let's talk about another beautiful sunscreen. It's from City Beauty and it's their Skin Perfecting Daily Veil. Now this is an SPF of 39 and it is also a broad spectrum SPF. This is beautiful under your makeup. This is plumping and it helps with fine lines. It's just a beautiful consistency. It comes out in a pump, actually super duper runny, which kind of freaked me out at first, but it's slightly, is it tinted? No, not really. And it doesn't give your face a white cast, but it's a lot thinner than most sunscreens for the face. So it just absorbs really fast onto your complexion. And I do have a code with City Beauty that I'll put down in the description box below if you wanna test this out. It's very hydrating, very smoothing, and of course it does have a SPF of 39. But yes, absolutely love the City Beauty Skin Perfecting Daily Veil. Let's talk about post sun care. So once you get back from the beach or the pool and you're, you know how you get that feeling and you go, oh my God, it's tingling. I bought the Banana Boat Soothing After Sun Gel. Look how much we used. We were like, dowsing ourselves in this every time we came in from the beach. And what we did was after showering and trying to remove the sunscreen from our bodies, we would put this everywhere where we were pink. And what really helps is if you chill it in the fridge, it is so refreshing. It absorbs quickly into your skin. It cools your skin off. It has a great scent. I promise you every single time we came in from the beach, we just pop this out of the refrigerator and pop it on and instantly it provides that cooling sensation. And of course it does contain aloe. You, will, you wanna apply liberally on your body and face and you reapply as desired. We would continue to do it like every couple of hours because especially when you first go out in the sun and your skin is tingling, you wanna take care of your skin. This also contains glycerin, which is great for your skin. Super inexpensive. Believe I bought this at Walmart, just right off the shelf, but this saved our lives and definitely chill it in the fridge for a definite cooling effect. But absolutely love the Banana Boat Soothing After Sun Gel. All righty, we're doing good. Heck yeah, and somebody's mowing their lawn. Post sun care for the face. This is what really helped my skin and you're not gonna believe it. I'm so glad I brought it, but the Superberry Hydrate and Glow Dream Oil from Youth to the People. I'm so glad I packed this. It was so hydrating, especially on my parched complexion. And then I started using this. I started using Pi, 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 and it's called the Anthemus. I'm probably saying that wrong. It's supposed to calm your skin. It contains chamomile and rosehip. It's a soothing moisturizer and it's geared especially for sensitive skin. This saved my skin. It saved my complexion while I was at the beach. I'm continuing to use it and absolutely love it. It's so, I can't describe it. Let me show you the consistency. I've got so much sunscreen on. But you just need one pump, that's it. And it smells so refreshing, so light. It's not thick, it's not gloppy, it's not greasy, but it absorbs so quick into the complexion and it's so soothing at the same time. The only thing that helped my daughter sunburn was I just applied, applied a little bit of the pie. Why does it sound so funny? Is it pie or pay? I don't know. But I would apply just a, one drop of this moisturizer onto her skin and she said it felt instantly soothing. And I mean, I'm just fortunate that I brought this along, but I've been testing this out and I'll give you a more in-depth review because I have another video coming up on skincare, but super gentle. It was gentle on Ava's skin. It's gentle on my skin. And I felt like it was the perfect moisturizer post sun. It wasn't greasy. It wasn't thick. It just absorbed into my complexion and I felt like my skin was hydrated. 
and with the combination of the Youth to the People Superberry Hydrate and Glow Dream Oil, that's all I needed for my complexion the whole time I was there. So highly recommend this. Like I said, I will do a full blown review on some more upcoming skincare products in the next coming videos, but I've been loving this. Oh my gosh. And you know how much I love this. Youth to the People Superberry Hydrate and Glow Dream Oil. Saved my face saved my skin it did that's the one place i did not want my face to get overexposure to the sun because it does cause hyperpigmentation it caused little dark spots on my face so i did lather up on sunscreen on the face i i was trying to keep this protected you know yeah did i get a sunburn i sure did but fortunately oh this has been wacky all the time but fortunately it started turning into a tan and you know you just have to apply sunscreen every single day when you're in florida i'm just saying i mean it just oh yeah now that i'm all greased up i'm ready to go out in the sun but yeah what do you think guys so i hope you enjoyed breaking down some of the sunscreens that i've been absolutely loving i mean there's such a plethora of sunscreens out there spfs chemical mineral it can be mind-boggling and overwhelming to shop for what works best for you now i did love the australian gold spf 50 it was definitely thick and pasty but with the sun being so intense at the beach i felt like that provided the most protection and especially on my face heck i didn't care i slathered it on my face to protect against anti-aging and wrinkles now for post care definitely get yourself some aloe vera gel the banana boat worked so well on my entire family it absorbs quickly into the skin and don't forget to chill it in the fridge for that cooling sensation and also don't forget your hat and your sunglasses where's my hat Oh yeah. But in my next upcoming videos, I'm gonna be testing out some more skincare and a new serum foundation. I can't wait for that. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I would love it if you would be a part of my family. And for foundation reviews, check out the playlist down here. And for more skincare reviews, check out the playlist up here. But for now, mahalkita, I love you. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.